Hello there, my name is Mitch Thomas Chuma, and this is uh, Wulawa Data Analyst, uh, bringing you the best in football, sports, and data. Today we're going to be talking about an interesting player who's called uh, Andile Jali from uh, South Africa. He currently plays for Morocco Swallows in the South African Premier Soccer League and uh, recently transferred from uh, Sundowns, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club. See, so he started his, uh, his playing career for uh, Pretoria University and then he moved uh, to Orlando Pirates in uh, 2009 and then he impressed a lot of people and he wore the jersey number 15 which got him a lot of comparison from uh Tso Vilekasi who also wore the same uh the same number jersey he was part of the the, the Paris team that won uh, three trophies in one season and uh, was quite impactful in that squad and uh his performances uh earned him a, 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 a a, a, an opportunity to play for a team in Belgium that was called uh, All Stande. Uh, the, so this, in this Belgian team, he was quite pivotal in helping the team uh, finish both uh, number five and number four in the league. Uh, that was uh, uh, 2017 and 20, 2016 and 2017 uh, respectively. And then he returned uh, to Mamelodi Sundowns in 2018 and has won the title with them till the last season where he signed with uh, Morocco Solos. He is uh, arguably one of the best midfielders that uh, South Africa has ever seen, that South Africa has ever had in their squad. And uh, there's a lot uh, about him that uh, I would like to discuss and uh, share my tactical opinions on him, on what has made him and what will continue to make him one of the best midfielders, uh, midfield players that uh, the South African League. So I titled this video uh, Andy Lejali a true number six because I believe that he probably of all of all the midfielders that I, uh, I I enjoy watching is probably one of the best ones because he somehow has mastered this art of uh of 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 playing wildest not playing at the same time i don't know if it if it makes a lot of sense he he so first of all i'm i'm, I'm gonna be breaking down uh andy Dejali as a defensive midfielder before we we get into his attributes in in, in attacking and how he helps out the team in that regard so from the clips that i'm displaying here you can tell that he almost has an intelligence about him of where the danger and the attack might be coming from so he knows how to position himself very well and position uh himself around the ball and time his tight is his tackles very very carefully so that he doesn't uh concede a foul in a very dangerous place this is something that is very very difficult to find in a defensive midfielder and he somehow manages to 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 do it so well that you it almost feels effortless when he does it because he almost has a, a, like a sense of calm and, and and this is not something that is um that he developed as an older player you can tell when you're watching games from uh from orlando pirates that he's almost always had uh, had that instinct in him to 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 defend the defensive line and to also be able to 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 be aggressive when it's necessary and to be instinctively fast when it's also necessary and uh, that difference that that small difference i think that's the difference between the greats and the almost greats and andy literally just had you know it's, uh, it's it's quite interesting to watch it's uh interesting to 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 to, to break down because in in football generally uh players like this are not uh quite easy to 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 come by especially when you're taking into consideration that he's also really good at at, at, at his passing game uh watching him reminds me of uh of of fred uh who plays for for man united and of uh Ander herrera who also used to play for man united that he has got that uh that tenacity to be able to to cover a lot of ground to excuse me to to protect the defense to to also be 
be necessarily aggressive and this uh, this 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 helps the the team to to win balls in from from deep positions and then to be able to build counter attacks off of that and even uh, even his pressing it's uh, it, it, it it's quite uh, interesting that uh, his uh, actions are quite both uh, defensive and offensive at the same time because they they they, they contribute to the team in 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 both those ways so yeah that's uh that's that's part of um defensively why i would say he's uh why, why i would say andy lejali was so an interesting part of uh andy lejali's game as i've uh, mentioned before and part of what i think makes him a complete uh number six is his impact on the attacking of the teams that he that he plays for and uh, that the the, the the teams that is that he plays in, uh, for example, for you to be an effective number six, in my opinion, uh, you must also you must be good in two directions, which is uh, going backwards and going forwards, and not necessarily being a box to box where you are running and you are participating in one box and then you are running back to defend again, but to aid your team in its attack, for example. In, in in many different plays, uh, Andy Lejari participates in the recovery of the ball when his team is being attacked, and then he manages to hold onto it long enough to to set off a pass that is going to allow his team to 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 counter attack or to build an attack off of that. So to me, that is uh, is is part of the, the the reason why why I I tame him as one of the greatest South African number sixes that have ever ever played ever played the game apologies for that uh for example in 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 this particular play he he receives the ball and then he he releases it as a pass and he just he den- generally doesn't uh misplace these passes and that's what uh, uh I, I i i i believe contributes to him uh uh helping the team uh going forwards and attack and this is a this is also a, a similar thing that you see in other great number sixes or great uh, defensive midfielders like uh, Sergio Busquets. Uh, I'm not saying that he he is as good as him. I'm just saying that he's uh, he he has uh, a, a, he has similar attributes and he takes on similar similar roles for his team. Uh, for example, I think this was a game against uh, Cape Town City. And so there's this thing that I want you to 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 to, to recognize. He he draws this team in uh, by uh, by by switching the sides, and then he goes on to switch the ball to a different side. But however, the bodies of the team and the whole uh, shape of the team that they are playing against has all been shifted to one side. And there's also like little things like that flick that you that you saw there, which. Uh, releases players and 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 gives them a lot of uh, space to run into. Uh, he 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 does so much for the team, and he's got so many weapons in his arsenal. And again, he, there's this uh, sense of um, effortless. You know, it, it, it just rolls off him, and I think it's uh, it, it's it's always been in him. He's always had it. It's one of those things that I don't think you can you can coach to be in a player, but he he just he he just uh, was was just blessed with it I guess. Uh, but uh, tactical wise, that's what I, I would say about Andy Lechali that he's he has got that quality to be able to to be strong enough to ward off the opposition and to not misplace the ball so that uh, other players can get into positions. Which allow them to to build off a, build an attack, whether it's a counter attack or it's uh, some or some other um, type of attack. He he does that and he he gives that to his team, and a lot of teams um, that he's played for are able to take advantage of that of that talent and what what he gives to what he offers to them. 